we were going for our 20 week ultrasound, which was the last ultrasound of the pregnancy. We had decided to find out whether it was a boy or a girl. We were so excited that we found out that she was a girl that we didn't notice that the ultrasound technician kept going over the same spot. The doctor told us that there was a problem. A hole in Simone's diaphragm. A very serious condition. My husband often describes that he felt his heart drop at that moment when we found out that she had to have surgery and had this complicated illness that we had never even heard of. Congenital diaphragmatic hernia is a um, birth defect. It's a birth defect that happens very early in gestation. The diaphragm doesn't form properly between nine and 10 weeks of gestational age. There's a hole in the diaphragm muscle, usually on the left side, that uh, has catastrophic effects before birth. An event happens where abdominal contents move into the chest. The intestine and other organs in the abdomen can go up through this defect into the chest and compress the developing lungs. Because there's so much uh, other tissue in the chest, the lungs can't expand and grow and develop normally. It's of little consequence before birth for the baby getting oxygen and that sort of thing, but the real road test begins at the time of birth when the umbilical cord is clamped and those small lungs have to work. The problem starts with the hole in the diaphragm, but that's not the whole story. Really, a lot of times what we struggle with are the pulmonary, the pulmonary vessels. The, um, the pulmonary vasculature is very small. You can imagine a, a tree with a trunk and branches and, and twigs all, all the way out to the periphery of the tree. In babies with diaphragmatic hernia, not only is the room for the tree small, but the tree is very pruned. So there are many, many fewer vessels per cross-sectional area of lung. And those blood vessels that are present are abnormal in that they, are, um, they have enhanced or increased muscularization that tend to make them pinch down, clamp down. When this muscle constricts, it actually decreases the lumen of the vessel and uh, reduces blood flow to the lung. As the heart after birth tries to pump blood through the lungs, it has a difficult time and there's pulmonary hypertension, high blood pressure in the pulmonary circulation. And that ends up being, in most cases, the, the single most important factor in determining whether or not they can survive.